Hi there, let's get to it. The last two options in the HSL curves I find to be a little bit more stylistic, but you can still get some very interesting results. With luminance versus saturation, for example, I could choose to target a portion of the image based on its brightness and then increase or decrease its saturation. Uh, this can be employed in a very interesting way. For example, in this image we have some very dark areas and some very light areas and not as many midtones. So I can indicate to the curves that I want to select this cup and increase its saturation. I can also spread the influence across a little bit. So now you see the saturation has increased in the cup and in the red brush in the background and on the reflections on the kettle. But the marble surface and the black of the kettle have still remained a lot less saturated which I think gives this image a pretty interesting look. So that's before and after. The saturation HSL can be quite convenient if you're trying to get rid of known saturation issues in your footage. So in this case, I've got a very vibrant poster that's drawing attention away from my main character. So I can quickly select that shade of red and that will drop off my first point and I can choose to lock it off if I want to. Otherwise, we're just going to have a curve that bends from the darkest part of the image to the lightest. So I can always undo if I don't want to target anything other than that poster. And make sure I get the right range. And that could be quite convenient to just dull it down a little bit. So I get that effect, and if you compare that to the original, that's a big improvement. Alright, I hope you have as much fun with these as I do, and I'll see you next time.